Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome back to Ah uh, Gaming. My name is Bill, I'm the angry autistic asshole, and today I am jumping back into my playthrough of HPS Battletech Hyades Rim, so let's get into it. Now we should be joined by Warlord Pete shortly. He has hopped out of the Discord channel. Why not set what I should do is set Warlord Pete as a. Uh, I need to give him the correct role. Find him. Maybe because I'm stupid. Ah, there you are. Hello, Warlord Pete. Hi there. How's it going? It's getting. That's good. That's something. Right. Oh, I forgot what we were up to. We've exhausted uh, jobs for this one. That takes us to another black market. That one is weight limited, so we need to hold off on that for the moment until we get a limited weight lance together, which I am building slowly. Um, what was I doing? I think I made a mistake last time. What was the mistake? I think I was putting infernos that were too good on that or something. Um, what else uses infernos? No such thing. Uh, infer too, too good infernos aren't a thing, it's just infernos that are too good for the situations that that mech is going to be in, should we say. Too good of a tool for the, uh, the job, but I don't remember which of my other mechs use Inferno missiles. Well, don't mind me, I'm just, uh, today's humble bundle. Oh, no yes. commercial endorsement. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> not that it's not. I mean, you know, you yeah. get stuff for cheap, and then they they donate money to charities. Yeah. But uh, they had the they have the John Scalzi collection, which yeah, I don't know if you've ever read any of it, but it's great stuff. Old Man's War. Calculating course. I've heard of it. It's fantastic. Is all of his writing is good. He writes military sci-fi mm -hmm. and uh, and political sci-fi. Yeah, and um, he's and he's really really good. And you know he's like a damn. He's probably older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I need to rebuild the banshee. That was it. Um... But, uh, I, yeah, I yeah, just, I donated $18, and I got 21 books. Nice. And e-books, of course, but books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of the Humble Bundle bundles are pretty insane. Um, right. Oh, I'll let's see. The last <laughs> bundle of books I got from Humble, Humble Bundle was a collection of 50 Battletech novels. Nice. That was a few months back. Yeah. They, uh, that was to celebrate the Kickstarter. Yes. I think I remember. I think I remember seeing that. I'm not sure I bought into it though. I probably should have. Oh yeah, yeah, you should have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> lore, baby. You gotta yeah. have the lore. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Uh, so need... That was uh, lore up into almost uh let's see to let's see the third war fourth war incidental tales about mercenaries war of 39 and the clan invasion and uh and then the formation of the second star league hmm. and uh and the Fedcom Civil War, and it, I think it ended there. It didn't include, include any of the Dark Age stuff. Mm. Yeah, you got the whole, all of Michael Stackpole's Warrior Coup series, mm. uh, Thurston, uh, Robert Thurston's Falcon series, 
Corn coal, man. Nice. Right. Victor Milan, who's one of my favorites. I think we'll do this. And of course, Andrew Keith. Because we need to get rid of the coil, because that was not useful on this mech at all. Um, If you ever find a copy somewhere of uh, the Fourth Secession War Adler's Volumes 1 and 2, uh, get them. Yeah. <laughs> get them. The, the amount of background on nice. Mercs on the whole Fourth War mm -hmm. is there. What, you know, hi, we fought the war and this is where we fought it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Solution, so I can actually see. Okay, right. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. And anybody listening in, uh, be sure to, uh, you can probably get a, uh, to get in touch with me if you want to pick my brain mm. about lore. Though, honestly, you know, if you really want lore, there's Sarna.net. Yes. I've got it all. Yeah. Sana is a really, really good uh, wiki. Um, the Battletech wiki. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. And uh, it's been around since uh, MechWarrior 2. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. That's been He's around. been around, been around that long. Nice. So it's, it's been a couple, it's been, God, a couple decades. Yeah, yeah a couple least. decades. Yeah. That's Mech Warrior 2, The Clans, the first one. Mm. So he started coming on strong when Merc's Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries came out. And we had all the online leagues, which were incredible considering that the software and the internet were so limited. Yeah. You could, you had, yes. I mean, you could <laughs> possibly get three players aside, but. Generally, it was two players on each team. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Mechanic. How's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, I remember... I did play MechWarrior 2, um, but I didn't really get it. I think I was too young, really. Oh, well, hey, you won't be. It was giant stompy bots, dude. It's okay. Yeah, it, it, it was. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I got that bit, but I think. And there was nothing else like it stuck. out there except yeah. maybe Heavy Gear. Yeah, he, um, Heavy Gear was something I heard of way later, but. Um... It's uh, DreamPod 9 Games. It's their uh, tabletop incarnation. And yeah. they have been up and down and up and down and up and down to the years. Um, yeah. They were supposed to have been, the guys that were originally did the, the mech tech were supposed to be building them a new heavy gear game and they basically fell through on it. Yes. They, they blew it. Yeah. That's interesting because obviously they're a competitor company competitor universe in the same genre um yeah so. and the thing is though is microsoft and the battletech boys they didn't care yeah no or stop, they, you can never have and these weren't big stompy robots these were little itty bitty stompy robots i mean the heaviest of them was like oh, but, 12 tons yeah they, <laughs> they, they were like medium tank replacements at most um 
But e even that, you know, is a different, it's an interesting take on it, as opposed to, oh, hell yeah. the, I like this place. you know, three stories like tall uh, monsters that we've got in Battletech, which... Yeah, Heavy Gear, you didn't, you, didn't mount didn't mount your, you didn't mount your ride, you put it on. Almost, yeah, yeah. 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 It was it, pretty much climbed inside, and yeah. it has more in common with Protomex. Yeah. Than, uh, than Big Mechs. Battle Mechs, yeah. Um, yeah, because it's all, um, more gesture-based controls, uh, you know, no neural interface, anything like that. So... Heading out. I, actually, yeah. Proto Mechs did oh, have a neural, oh. into, neural oh, okay. interface. Uh, uh, but, um, Clan Battle Armor that. didn't. It was all manual control. It yeah. Was, you know, you controlled... <laughs> Things to hand hand movements or muscle twitches and eye movement. Yeah. On yeah. a menu. Yeah. Which is closer to heavy gear, which is again, it's an interesting uh, take on it. Uh oh, we've got a longbow to deal with, and we've got a gas pole yeah, to deal we're... with. We're going to get lumbed a lot today. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit. Hey, what do you mean, learned a lot? You are so OP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he, he chases down light max and medium max with assault max for god's sake. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with having a respect for my enemy's capabilities. <laughs> that's not respect, that's slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I give him a chance, not much of one. No, but no. I give him a chance. That's... Activate the Atlas. Before I beat I beat over. them with superior tactics and builds. You just you just curb stomp them. Yep, <laughs> brute force. <laughs> uh, intelligence hasn't worked for me very much for. Uh, well, no, some of the uh, some of the hiatus room mission. It's taken a hell of a lot of intelligence to get through. Um, you don't look like you're in the Russian army. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's do something about this guy. Excuse me, sir. Is that a long bow? Oh, try and salvage. Yeah. I think we damaged his leg. Yeah, try and take his leg off. Uh, it, oh, it's an OW. Just go for the legs. For You'll find another one. The legs are, are it's really, it's got the armor of a, a, a small and medium mech. Yeah. The Shadowhawk has more armor, okay? Yeah. Oh, nice. Give Gal shot up his leg off. I'll knock it over. Remember, I was telling you about the OGBOW oh. longbow with eight infernos. In <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, um. Uh oh. Hard burn. Hard oh. burn. Hard burn. <laughs> um, it's dead. It blew up. Why does it keep all of his ammo in the center torso? Uh, you still might get a couple pieces. Yeah. You know, only spent for three, what, three pieces anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we might get like one, one bit. Um, You'll find another one. Yes. That was um messy. All right, hang on. Let me put you. And you might even be able to. And you've got the money. You can afford to pick a couple, a couple pieces up yeah. in a store somewhere. Yeah. And the OW That's will awesome. be can be found in a normal store. You don't have to worry about a black market. Yeah, yeah, it's just generally available to pick up. The enemy is good because I'm mad because I can't find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi. Oh, hey there, godly snack. How's it going? Uh, this is modded, so we're playing with the Hyades Rim uh, campaign overhaul, which completely replaces the vanilla campaign. Uh, it's not finished yet, but it's been a lot of fun telling a uh, very different story. Um, uh, it's what yeah. really happened. Yeah. <laughs> that propaganda piece that HBA, HBS published in, yeah. <laughs> in, in, in partnership with Comstar. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I got I a handful of uh, quality of life points with it as well. And if you ever decide to plug that Sandman mod, Sandman and Friends mod, um, 
I've set the rarity real high on the advanced tech stuff. You may never find any of them. Yeah. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing because the Sandman 1A1 uh, in the hands of a player lucky. will cause even clanners to have nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Commander. That's... Well, it's the thing is, it's just as fast as um, any clan medium, mm. uh, any clan 50, 50 to 55 tonner. Yeah. And um, and packs just as much firepower. You just nice. got to get closer with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and getting close to someone on the maps in this game is not a order. Problem. No, it's. <laughs> It's, yeah, you end up in more knife fights than anything else, really. Uh, in fact, even in the tabletop game, if there yeah. is any terrain at all, it's easy to take advantage of it. Yes, yeah. You stay mobile, you jump, you make sure you got good, good die roll modifiers, and Sensors when you finally off. get that chance, you know, curb yeah. stomp them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I uh, haven't seen this one before. How far along are we? Um, so, we're at... We've done all of the campaign flashpoints that actually exist. Um, there are six more to be made that uh, they, uh, that the uh, devs are working on. Oh. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, my voice is not happy today. Um, devs, the dev, where there's the dev, one Hobbs, <laughs> yeah, an absolute evil genius. Um, oh yeah, we love him. <laughs> yeah. <Standing by. laughs> um, so, but I think. How many campaign flashpoints exist at the moment? I suppose it's 20 something? 28, I want to say, maybe? You know, I don't remember, but, you know, it's, it's definitely more than the stock campaign. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, it's been good. It's been a long, long journey. I think the main gripe I have is that you get the Argo really, really late. Um,. But oh yeah! Aside from well, that, that's a lot of fun. Purpose, that's to keep it from being too easy. Because <laughs> honestly, the Argo makes it easy. It does. Um, because I mean, you know, you can have three mechs trashed if you've got a fully tricked out Argo. They're up in twenty. Days. They're up in a week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I get that. Um, uh, yeah, when you fully upgraded the Argo, the repair times can be hilarious. Um, but. Yeah, having to completely didn't rebuild you, didn't a you eject? Was, uh, you shot out the engine, both arms and both legs, <laughs> and there was nothing but a piece of torso left. And you've got it. Only took you a week to repair it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I, I, I would agree with you that that is a little bit excessive and probably needed tweaking. Um, oh, kaboom! Hello, ammo explosion. What happened to you? You lost your bunny ears. Oh no! You're a light mech. And he did tweak that. Repair times are a little longer over the stock game. Got it. With a, yeah, with I had really tricked out Argo. Yeah, I, I I was noticing that. I don't want to say basic refits, so fairly substantial refits were taking a couple of days longer than uh, vanilla, which I do. You agree burn with up in point. travel time between systems. It's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> so. you, you don't really lose anything to, uh, from it, so. Got so, it. back up to there, and last this guy. So, Godly Smack, have you played um, much HPS Battletech or anything else Next. in the universe? Standing by. Oh, Not a commercial announcement, it's on sale on GOG. Yes. Uh, which is uh, good. Because all. Essentially about fifty to sixty percent off the regular price. Yeah, it's a good discount. Not sponsored at all, but uh, all right, uh, uh, worth checking Waiting out. For the right it's move. a lot of fun. I have well, it, BattleTech, even modded BattleTech was the uh, the first thing I ever streamed. So, and I'm still enjoying it. I think my viewers are still enjoying it. So, I'm happy to keep doing it. Yes, Commander. And it's been a couple years or so. Um, 
No, no, it's, it's, I've um, been streaming for... Must be close to nine months now, in total. Oh, you were a late adopter. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm very, I'm very, very new to uh, streaming, uh, comparatively. Well, uh, I, I want you to know that you're infectious because um, <laughs> I, um, I have MWO hmm. on my machine now. Yeah. And I've got Mech Warrior Five with all the goodies. Nice. <laughs> <Locked on target. laughs> And they're going to be doing a Mech Warrior 5 The Clams. Yes. And there's a mod for I've Mech Warrior 5, which is one of the missions out of the original Mech Warrior 2 in the Gaia. Oh, no. no music. Cool. Nice. So it's the opening Jade Falcon mission. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, Mech Clams. And I hope the guy finishes it anyway, even though they're doing a Mech Warrior 5 point. Okay, time. Yeah, we massively have killed that mech. Oh well, and never mind. <laughs> Arcadia is our push. Waiting for orders. <laughs> I copy. <laughs> Commander. Look it out. Alrighty. Yeah. Oh. Okay, something just pinged us. It's gonna be a turret or something, isn't it? Receiving you. The worst thing in the tabletop lore that I think ever happened Let's was move. when Clan Wolf turned, uh, turned away from being warden. Yeah. Commander. Yeah, under Vlad Ward, they under the under the Five. wards they turned. Other than Phelan, they turned full on Crusader. Orders. Which is why it's the age of the Ilkhan now in yes. the board game universe. Yeah. <laughs> Receiving you. Yeah, because they finally uh, they finally got to Terra, didn't they? Yeah. He kind of snuck in. Yeah. <laughs> I took down the road. Yeah. They were already Yeah. <laughs> Good to go. Yeah. I don't even know all the story of that. How they, uh, uh, uh did, did, how they beat, uh, Devil in Stone's, uh, fortress thing. Fortress thing? Target confirmed. Uh, they had some sort of. Um, hyper, One less uh, hyperspace yeah. jump inhibitor field. Okay. Up to about, oh god, about 50 Order. light years out from Terra. Mm. And you couldn't, you, you, you jump past it and your ship died. Oh, okay, right. That's, uh... You're gonna have a missed jump, a really bad one. Yeah. Okay, going full throttle. That's a bit OP. <laughs> yes, Commander. Just for fluff, that's 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 pretty OP. Fortress Republic. Copy that. Mm. Target confirmed. Enemy structure. What do you need? I need to move this guy first because he has the rangefinder, and I keep forgetting. Take out that other shot. Oh. Yeah, that'll turret. be another drop of turrets. Right. Good to go. Yeah. Remember, heat generating weapons cause more damage to structures and Um, they don't in vanilla. This isn't vanilla. Do they actually do more damage? In Hades, because I'm sure I've yes, used. Yes, they do. Oh, not much, but okay, it's there. Ah. I mean, it might be an extra point of damage per missile, but it's That's still an extra okay. point of damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my apologies. I was still under the belief that 
they didn't. Oh, they said they did. I mean, as of um, the heavy metal mod. The heavy metal DLC. Yeah. Okay, because. No, in vanilla with the DLC, the uh, incendiary weapons don't have a, uh, didn't do any more damage, or at least from my personal experience, they uh, didn't. Well, considering the amount of damage you dished out, I'm surprised you didn't even notice. Yeah. Just, just saying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I put out pretty decent damage. It's kind of, it all just kind of blurs together. <laughs> I don't think they'll get reinforcements at this point. Godly, he's uh, actually about Standing as by. far as he can get. We're, I'm waiting along with him for the final installments of the mod, which, crossing my fingers, hoping Hobbs will have it out by Christmas, but... It's catch as catch can. He, he does have a real world job, so he can't, you know, do it 100% of the time. No. <laughs> and he does this work out of love for the game, not for donations. Mm. Aye, aye. Unlike some models. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Enjoyed. Ready to get it on. Uh, I have most definitely enjoyed. Copy that. And it's been a yeah very interesting take on the story. Got a sensor lock. And uh, the how how the uh, it's I think part of the like one of the biggest uh, uh, changes yes, is uh, that is really good is that. The Oregon War and like Civil War restoration um, doesn't exist in a vacuum. In this, it, no. it, it's the it, you know it's all connected to the rest of the the galaxy, to the rest of the inner sphere, and uh, other other inner sphere powers are taking notice and getting involved or not getting involved. And, you know, politics is happening and that kind of stuff. So that's. Oh, look, really it's missing. the Church of Discount Down. Hey, buddy, got oh. the urban next? <laughs> hey, Discount Down. Church of Discount Down. It's going good, thanks. You started playing this game in vanilla before you modded, modded it. Into. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, um... Definitely play it vanilla first. It's good fun. Um... Yeah, even if it is probably yeah. It's, it's good fun, and uh, uh, yeah, I hope Turn you enjoy. And thank you for dropping in and saying hi. How's it going? It's receiving you. It is always good to see new people. Church of Discount Dan. You're looking for <laughs> mech parts, <laughs> tank parts, <laughs> artillery parts. We've got them. Yep. <laughs> uh, I, I love the, uh, yeah. Texas, uh, well, the Black Pants Legions. Uh, BPL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Their, uh, this countdown adverts are fantastic. Brought it down, Commander. It's so stupid. And waiting for the, we're all waiting for the next chapter of Hired Steel. Yes. Which is their their computer, their CGI animated, you know, mini move, uh, battle tech yeah. mini move. Yeah. Which is awesome. They're packing a Wait, lot of firepower. Fire. They are, but all I smell is sea bills. <laughs> Let's push you all the way forwards because we need to find the last turret. Position confirmed. I always back there behind everything. Yeah. That might be. Copy that. Look, you you just stole the church. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Ah, so <laughs> got it. Well, discount down. I'll probably move back in and steal it back off yeah. at some point. I mean, no. acquire it to sell to someone else. Oh uh, no! <laughs> Are you kidding? 
<laughs> you think he actually owned, the banks own the deed? <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, so let's have a look. Let's test the theory. So that building has 200 hit points. We're going to fire two lots of fuel air explosives at it. So just on the missile damage, if they all hit, they'll do a total of 10, 10 net damage. So let's see what it does. Oh, I don't think they will hit for a start. Yep, nope. Phase didn't do any additional damage. Well, not that we could tell, and most of them kind of like went everywhere but. No, they, they all hit. The building is quite large, apparently. Um, the, or at least the hitbox oh, was. Some of them hit the tower in front of it. Okay. Uh, it's hard to say. Nope, they passed through it. <laughs> that was one of the funny things about this. Uh, one of the odd quirks about the ga game is what counts as blocking uh, Commander. Uh, terrain to uh, attacks is always a bit peculiar. Yeah, you can you can you can hit other mechs that are in, that are in front of your target that are mechs. Yes. <laughs> Taking shot. Standing by. Uh, you get into position to see the turret, but we can't get there yet. I mean, it's not like you gotta pay for the ammo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very true. Very true. Firing on target. One of those. One of those ones. <laughs> no, it's not like it's not like MechWarrior, where you had to keep a stock of Got ammo on hand because you you burn through it. Yeah. Which I think was a mistake. I think they should have had you. You know, this ammo should have been expendable. Yeah. Um, Order. I'm in two minds about it. It's it's a thing that is worth considering, uh, or it, it's something that should probably be in the player's consideration. But it shouldn't be a case of, well, we've Ready stopped you having order. fun because you ran out of ammo, uh, kind of thing. Ready for all. I'm not sure how you'd achieve a balance with that. Oh, the balance is kind of built in because, yeah. you know, you can either choose to carry a lot of ammo, God. or you can choose not to carry it. Yeah. <laughs> that turret is gone. Take lots of laser weaponry, but be consigned to well, lasers and PPCs and stuff. But, uh, have to deal with the heat generated, or... Oh, yeah. Take the ammo and have the burst and not the heat. But... Oh, and I, what I would I would have done had had been my decision. And... Yeah, I'm all right. The most important part of the damage is stability. Write it down, Commander. And the ability that you can beat someone unconscious in their yes, neck by knocking them down. Yeah. I think that's a you know, that's that's pretty good. Cool. Yes. Yes. Cool. Locking. Is there a trick to selling gear in the game? When I get to the salvage screen, it tells me all the gear you get is worth millions of credits, but you can't sell it for that much. So, no, you can't sell it for that much. Uh, I don't believe... There are mods that yeah. will adjust, make a difference between salvage money and, uh, and sales money, which I prefer unfortunately the uh the one i have tried conflicts with uh hades rim yeah so unfortunately i don't use it yeah um but as it is um my uh, my understanding of it is you're uh you're running a mercenary company not a weapons dealership so that's your you your team will yeah, sorry. You will sell it for uh, a, f a quick buck to get it off the ship, kind of thing, rather than uh, sell the whole. Uh, uh, try try and push for ninety uh, to one hundred ten percent or something. I've never <laughs> run out of cargo space on the Argo. Not no, you, I know. It's just 
uh, fluffing it, you know, to, um... And, uh, I'm sorry, mercenary commands are businesses. They just yeah. happen to be in the business of war. Yeah, <laughs> killing is my business, and business is good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> uh, it has been for good. several, for about uh, 500 years. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the good thing is, when you sell a complete mech, uh, you keep all of the parts off of it. Uh, so you can subsequently sell them later, or, you know... Uh, hold on to them if you want. Oh, that's still a, I, I, I already know what's there, and I keep looking at it. I wonder if we should go and do Yang's big score. Yeah. There's another one out there too. Yeah, that's the uh, the baying of the hounds, which is a uh, no, no, no oh, between. Hound. Oh. One man's trash. That is, yeah. Also, in the word no. Sorry. Oh, it's, way it's... <laughs> that's a fun mission. Yeah, they're fighting over the Star League staplers. I remember. <laughs> yeah, that that was funny. Um, <laughs> it's like just just that. Let them have it. it. It's fine. You can kill each other over Star League branded staplers if you want. Um, I think we'll go for this one because it's not weight limited. Uh, let me just drop a say. Actually, did I? Yeah, well, you do get so. kind of screwed on it, but yeah. No, what am I doing? I need to try to improve some melee capabilities if we have the space. How large is that? Where is it? Too big. Gotcha. But put that into there. Put that into there. Get another bit of melee damage in. How's your ha how's your Atlas at handling the heat? Um, pretty decent. Uh, I dropped the machine guns and put some small lasers in. Not that decent. Um, no. And I like the uh, the crit seeking ability of the machine guns, and oh. and they're the uh, the machine guns that don't weigh anything as well, which is good. Well, then you use pulse small small pulse lasers. Um, I'm not sure if I even. Oh, I might have one or two. Uh, I've got a few. But yeah. Quick support they're... weapons icon. Yeah. 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 You got four of them. More damage, 12 heat, twice that of a regular small laser. Yeah, but they don't um, crit seek. Uh, uh, yes, they do. Yes, they not do. Not to the same. It's not. In, it's, not it's, it's not just. It's a, just as good as the normal crit seek, but it's yeah. built into the weapon, which is why you don't see it there. Oh, okay. I see. One Tom. One. Ah, bugger. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we'd only be able to get one in. Oh, you got a ton of machine gun ammo and two machine guns, that's two tons. Nope, the machine guns don't weigh anything. They're the, uh, the... Oh, the, the, that's they're how the, you're them. Yeah, they're the really good ones. So, yeah, um... I'll consider that. Thank you for letting me know that. That's interesting. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Yeah, uh, I mean, normally, I don't like carrying pulse weapons. They, I find them to be too hot yeah. and too heavy. Yeah. Right, so now we're going to put a... Oh, no. 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 We need to put uh, our mods into the crab. If we can fit this in. Oh, a scratching crab. Uh, we already so got the little arm mods. Yeah, we can't fit that in. Damn it. That's a shame. Unless <sighs> you're running a uh, Ultra. Ultra actually, Ultra 20 actually takes up less room. Yeah. Um, I've only ever found two Ultra Auto Cannon 20s. And th th how I got them was really weird. Because I got, I got them as a reward for uh, one of the Flashpoint 
missions for like for one of the um Hades Room story missions. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realise oh hang on. no, that's not the right one. That's still not the right one. Melee damage, there we go. Plonk. Uh, except. But it only showed that it gave me one, so I buggered up installing them in uh, God Mecha because I thought there was only one, and then I realised, uh, uh, you know, while I was searching my inventory, I found, oh, hang on, there's another one of these lying around that I didn't know about. Okay, well, that's going in God Mecha. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, that was a surprising revelation. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, I've completely buggered that up. Yeah, save just in case you get a spinning on, on travel, which yeah. happens every once in a while. Yeah, or a really bad um, Calculating course now, Commander. set of random events. Job's done, Commander. Cool, that's all done. Yeah, if, if we could uh, get hold of another two UAC 20s to put in oh, the King Crow. Oh, does it, it did an auto save while you were jumping. That might force you to want to reload. Um, I think it might have crashed. Oh no, there we go. That was I've got the financial concerning. Report. There we go. No, I've had it. I've had it lock up on me while doing that. When it saves, when you're in in jump movement. Yeah, sometimes it goes a bit squirrely. Oh, moonlight with the flamer. Uh, hang out in the mech bay for a week. Ooh, you made a flamer plus plus. I know exactly where that's going. That's going in the head of the banshee. Very nice. Boink. Bob and no. Sweet. Shouldn't be too hard. And that was a positive random event. Hooray! We found some positive random events. <laughs> I, I remember a little incident mm. early on in his build of the uh, mod. Mm. Uh, I caught and I. I kind of brought it to his attention. He says, you realize that the flamers, when you fire them, are reducing heat? I wrapped up that and he job said, what? For, oh, no. <laughs> oh. That's yeah, not emergency good. Emergency heat thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of a sudden, I started killing flamers on everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least the pirates were never overheating. Yeah. Or I'd overheat them, and they'd fire their flamers, and they're running cool again. Yeah. <laughs> I'm spraying my coolant that is overheating at the enemy or something. <laughs> I went and I looked at the weapons files and I said, ha ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> where'd that come from? Yeah, whoops. <laughs> so was that like a negative modifier or something? Uh, or, uh, negative no, modifier. It, was, it was really simple. Um, you you cause ten heat and it, and you and you reduce ten heat. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Bit of a copy pasta fail there. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he was I, I I, he was trying to do something else, mm. and I, he just made yeah. a wrong entry. Whoops! <laughs> going for a while so I was I think he was just trying to do some custom flamers and mm. um, it just didn't work mm. what so what sort of custom flamers do you know or just was just messing around with them to see see what he could do well, at that point, he was messing around with things to see what he could do, and you know, and it eventually led to um, all those marvelous um, different faction mechs. Mm, yeah, yunks. 
Yes, the unks, or the funnies, as uh, <laughs> the funnies. Right. Ether Tan likes to call them. <laughs> spy. Dragonfire is a meme spy. Oh, well. I always delete those messages, yeah. because the only ones that ever matter are the ones dealing with the, uh, with, with the, uh, Leia flash points. Yeah. Yes. The adherence of Leia. Oh, sure he didn't oh, misunderstand yeah, I, flamers I, with heat sinks. Yeah, <laughs> it's entirely possible. It was, I, it was it was just a misentry. Yeah, it happens, especially when you're doing such far-reaching shit as Hobbs has done. Like, and what, what he did is he just went back to the default flamers. Yeah. At least I think he did. Let me double check. I think so. I think they're... ...working as they did previously. It won't take me a moment to check. i just go look in the mods folder, 80s rim folder of the mods. And down to the weapons. Eventually arrive at our destination, folks. Don't worry. <laughs> de -de 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 yeah. <laughs> One eternity later. We're about to get the worst flash, uh, the worst random event in the world again. I think. Yeah, he just went back to the stock flamers. Fair enough. <laughs> there's no listing for, for you, any, Commander. anything other than stock flamers, and there's no flamers in his modified weapons. Ah, got it. Yep, worst random event of them all. The monthly budget. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, especially when you're packing as much tonnage as you are. Holy crap. Yeah, we're, we're not cheap. <laughs> and remember, the higher the tech the Mac, the more it costs to maintain it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. But that's fine. That's how I roll. Cool, let's not start that just yet. I... These guys hate us yet or not. Let's see if they got anything fun there. Forty hunchback. This is all basic stuff, I think. Super shiny LR15, yeah. Yeah, this spooky damage around, yeah, not what useful. Let's see if there are any jobs here. Come on, Comster. They're all plasma hunchback. Hylepa, that would be disgusting. An all plasma hunchback. Ooh. First of all, you need Ooh. plasma rifles in the game. Uh, but. Yeah, one shared shutdown. Yeah. Actually, you want to use plasma cannon. Yeah. <laughs> because they only. No? Or, no? no, plasma cannons, the industry, they're heavier. Nope, nope. Plasma rifles. Could you fit a plasma Three cannon? Times one space. Could you fit a plasma cannon in a hunchback though? Because it does have an AC twenty yeah, standard. Yeah, it looks yeah. good. Yeah. Nasty. It's it's a, it's an energy weapon. Yeah. <laughs> it's an energy weapon. Takes up an energy hard point. Yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty rude. It's like, and you're offline. Deal with it. Shall we... Yeah, let's begin the flashpoint. Right. We're gonna go and try and nick shiny shit. <laughs> yeah, all plasma hunchback and the biggest engine possible, yes. 
All right, Yang, we're orbiting Electra, so let's hear it. What's this juicy opportunity you've got lined up for us? Great big glittery showroom full of limited production battle mechs. We're talking mint condition museum pieces, the private collection of one of House Davian's preeminent collectors. We play our cards right, and uh, ours for the taking. In short, Exo, what I've got lined up for us is a good old fashioned heist. Does Clex have a name? It'd be nice to know who we're planning to rob. Michael Graves, he's an ex-corporate made a mint working as the interim CEO of Lycom Davian Introtech <laughs> then more than quadrupled his money by manipulating the aerospace market. Long story short, guy's a white collar criminal. He's filthy rich but otherwise unremarkable and he collects battle mix. Uh, but I'll be damned if he knows how to pilot one. Sounds like the kind of guy I'd have no problem stealing from. So how do you propose we do it? Well, first off, we'll have to get our mech warriors into the showroom somehow. We can't just blast away in without damaging the merchandise, so uh, Frontal Assault is out. If we want to get those the mechs... mechs for God's yeah, sake. they'll be fine. <laughs> uh, if we want to get those mechs out of the showroom in one piece, we're going to have to trick Graves into dropping his guard. And as it happens, I've got a plan for that. I'm listening. Graves has a rival, a guy named Waller. He's another rich asshole with a military hardware fetish and a couple of months ago he outbid our guy on some vintage mech parts. Graves needs those components for an old griffin he's restoring, but Wallow won't sell. You with me so far? I hope so, because we're coming up on the good part. Okay, so just last month Wallow leased an old aircraft hangar on the edge of Corsica City. He's planning on using it to facilitate another deal, some sort of aerospace acquisition, I think. And he's brought his Griffin components with him, presumably for the purpose of pissing Graves off. Now, here's where the plan gets clever. If we were to capture Wallow's hangar and then leave it defenseless, Graves would go for it. He'd send his own security detail to steal Wallow's Griffin bits. And that would give our people all the opportunity they need to slip uh, in on foot and infiltrate Graves' showroom. And then our mech warriors would abscond with uh, their pick of Graves' battle mechs. It's a fine plan, but uh, what happens if the mechs are secured in some way? No offence to our valiant pilots, but if getting these museum pieces up and running is more complicated than pressing the on button, I'm not sure they'll be up to the task. <laughs> Uh, you're right, they won't, and that's why I'll be going with them, uh, feet on the ground like I did in my army days. I'll get the mechs running and hitch a ride back out on, uh, with one of the pilots. Won't be my first date with the rumble seat. Yeah, the last one cost him his arm. So the, the plan is the old double-double cross, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a plan. We'll assemble a lance to wipe out one of his bodyguards. Damn glad you're on... Uh, we're, you're with me on this, boss. Damn glad. Uh, I'd give your, you the mother of all high fives if I didn't think I'd break you. <laughs> it's gonna work, everybody. This is gonna be great. Right, let's go nick shit. Nick all of the things. Actually, I want to level up my C team first. Because they're gonna be the ones doing it. Standing by. Excuse my stomach. Yeah, it'll be easy oh. peasy. Yeah. Drink confirmed, Commander. Orders? Uh, it's the things that you don't have any control over confirmed. that are going to make things hard, and a yeah. large object sitting right in front of your eyes. Yes. <laughs> Mech warrior training complete. Standing by. Yes. Training confirmed. That's a, isn't that an assault dropship? Why, yes it is. An assault <laughs> arrow died. Yeah. <laughs> but it's up on jacks. It's not ready to fight. Yep. <laughs> you can get it off the jacks, kids. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Right. Plonk. Okay. This is... Resolution changed. Resolution changed again. I'm really struggling to see. No, it is. I need. 
I need my eyes looked at again, I need better glasses, I am struggling, but that's a problem for later. Okay, let's do it! I remember this flashpoint being a bit of an odd one, or at least the like the last mission at this flashpoint being a bit of a, a bit oh, of an it, odd one. Oh, it still is. Yeah. But I wanted. I talked to Hobbs about it. I wanted him to change up what the guy had in the hangar and what you could oh. get. Oh. Okay. Command interface Because you know, I wanted you to be able to snatch his, snatch him back. Yeah. And it's just ahead, pick up lots of battle mech activity up front. Yeah. Unknown battle mech lance, be advised you're trespassing on protected territory. Turn back now or you'll be destroyed. Yes, so much for the element surprise. Break stuff. Damn. And a Or if you want to really, really, really. Standing by. <laughs> nasty surprise. Mm. <laughs> uh oh. An original behemoth. <laughs> yeah. Acknowledged. You know, Aramis is falling. Yes, the Roger. turret. <laughs> the self-propelled turret, or the other self-propelled turret, <laughs> yes. which is the Rifleman 2. Ah, uh, the Rifleman 3, the uh, quad Gauss rifle. That I de definitely want. <laughs> yeah, and it's it also has that, it has a movement of Waiting two. Waiting for orders. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> explains how they fit so many Gauss rifles into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, it, 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 it's just it enough, it, you know, <laughs> German way. heavy tank manufacturer, yeah. school of heavy tank <laughs> manufacturer. Yep. <laughs> yep, sacrifice the engine for everything else. <laughs> You're going to move a 45 ton tank with a 600 horsepower diesel power plant. Yeah, not clever. And a fragile no transmission. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Transmission. In fact, it's so drive. fragile you can order. never do your top speed because if you do, you'll break Roger. it. Yeah. <laughs> Move. This very silly idea. Uh, I was on the hangar. And the Germans did the Yacht Tiger. Same engine. Yeah. Heavier. Yeah. Heavier vehicle. Same engine. Yep. Not clever. Well, it's got something big in there. I can't quite make it out. Oh wow! Don't give me some sense. What are you looking at? A thing of beauty, XO. It's got about 80% of uh, Galileo Instruments Achilles up on the blocks in there. It's an absolute monster of dropships. Uh, more than twice as big as our Leopard and armed like a warship to boot. Uh, then we should be relieving really some on blocks. Let's get the show back on the road, Commander. As soon as we wipe out one of those guards, as soon as we can move on to where the show. Yep. For the record, the Achilles normally carries into battle a battalion of infantry. Usually we'll jump infantry. Bloody hell, okay. <laughs> oh, what we got? Well, Leper has a stupid idea. Uh, let's take a fly or a flea and put a 350 engine in it. Let's see if we can break the sound barrier. Um, there are some very stupid things you can do with, uh, I think it's a flea. In uh, Mech Warrior 5, you can max out the engine and put um, a supercharger and mask on it, and it can go something like 400 kilometers an hour. What was that? <laughs> something, was like, that? So something like 400 kilometers an hour, I think. Good to go. Um, that's just what I've heard. Uh, but it's. Um... Take advantage of the ramming rules. Yeah. <laughs> Fire and forget flee. Copy that. <laughs> What happened to you? I had a flea. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you hit a flea? Yeah, it was coming at me at 400 kph. That wasn't anything I could do. <laughs> Got it. Uh, Couldn't even practice it down. Yeah. Brutal. I saw, and then I realized I was looking at the sky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there a flea wrapped around what's left Ready of my legs? <laughs> no! He survived? Uh, yeah? 
Oh no, that fleet would not survive that impact. No, of course not. <laughs> it's science fiction. Yeah. Well, uh, emphasis on the fiction. Yeah. <laughs> on my way. Okay. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. Here They're hitting you. The bad guys. I am the smart. Uh, oh, I am the, the SRM. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Why have SRMs when you can be an SRM? <laughs> I kind of want to ping, but I also kind of want to chuck a mortar over there. Ready to get it on. Hmm. Damn. If I don't ping, the rest of the lances aren't going to be able to do anything. But then they might not be able to do anything either. So I want to move to moving to position. And I think we'll throw a mortar at these. Ah, uh... oh, we can't quite get all four of them. Ah, oh, well. Fire downrange. Boom. Strip some of the paint off of the mech. And... Let's see what happens. Do the vehicles die? No, they didn't, but no. they're, they're, they got big holes. Yeah, they're gonna be upset. <laughs> Which is good. Armor's holding, Commander. Nothing to see here. Yeah, about that. Oh. Uh, one of them's one of those. Got an LRM tap. Yeah. Oh, Hoi Leppa saying, Mom told me I can become anything I want to, so I became Gauss Cannon Ammo. <laughs> Waiting for order. Uh, fantastic. Right, I don't think I can get a line of sight. He's not... Yes, Commander. Not with him, you won't. No. Go vigilant and run out. Then we can get a line of sight for everyone else. Oh, yeah. Right, so we're looking at a cack jack, an enforcer, a gallant urban assault vehicle. Gross. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, me no like. Yeah, I don't like them either. They're overpowered. They move before everything else. Yeah, it's <laughs> gross. They packed that damn AC-20 and it's just like, oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. If he gets Exposed the structure, yep. which is a good start. Oh, I should have multi-targeted. I got tunnel vision there. Let's maybe hit the blackjack, I think. Let's just, just make it go away. Confirm. We're not tanking with an urban assault vehicle. Go away. Oh my god, I didn't even finish the second volley, it blew up. Yep. Just how I like it. Let's reserve for the moment. Oh, hello there. They've got a lock on me. Interesting choice. Standing by. Let's see what we're dealing with over here. We've got a bulldog. It's not too bad. He can split fire and kill them both. Yeah. Then can we put the base into the blackjack? Oh no, yeah, put him on the blackjack. Shed him down. Yeah. Now we'll just dump everything into the bulldog, make sure it goes away, and then everyone else can deal with the uh, the jumping uh, enforcer. Acknowledge. Vehicles are too tough in this game. Well, vehicles are too tough in this universe. Hell, we played them. Um, so we've started doing some Enemy vehicle uh, tabletop simulator, uh, tabletop astrotech, and uh, our last mission was uh, these die easy. It was it, we. There was a manticore, Standing and by. it wouldn't die. We shot it so many times, and it just wouldn't die. I I plugged two auto uh, AC twenty rounds into its front armor, and it didn't go away. Um, 
got to the point where it, it died right as my hunchback and one of our teammates uh, uh, was piloting a fire starter. We got in up uh, like base to base to it and we were going to punch it if it didn't go away. Because <laughs> it wasn't going away. Um, you were bound to determine that round it was going away. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, ammo explosion. Nice. That hit something good. Pop. Right. Oh yeah. Uh, Orders. Oh, that's most of his weapons. Mm -hmm. Let's finish overheating the blackjack, and then we'll. Uh, that was his AC10. That's good. Splitting fire. Uh, I should have activated the Highlander first. Oh well, no mind. Shut down. Yes. No. Why? Ain't gonna do anything. Nah. Receiving you. Ah, uh, but it's worth doing. <sighs> and now we can. Now I think we might just uh, plug the enforcer. Punk. White I believe there's a target. second lance that drops in at some point. Battle mech power up detected. Uh, yeah. Ready but they're going to pop in at right around the same spot. Okay. So are they not dropping over here? I can't remember offhand. Um, now that's, that only happens when you're doing the Heavy Metal Flashpoint series. Okay. And you're facing uh, uh, two lances of Black Widows. Oh yeah, that was nasty. That flashpoint is Heading awful. Um, You'll be pleased to know it's disabled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's disabled for play balance reasons by a mob. Yes. Get it play, get it play smart. Um, that is something good. Collect up some rather nasty advanced weapons. Yes, yeah. Good to go. Yeah, I remember that side of yes, it. Yes, Commander. Um, oh, fuck, you can't get to where I want you to be. That's a shame. Jump time. And let's just... Uh, turn that off. He'll finish. Commander. Unnerved. Got it. Yeah. Roger that. Back hey, he blew up. Ammo explosion. Here it comes. Hostile removed. Oh, oh no, there's our extract. And that'll teach you for to, to, uh, to not carry your AC ammo in the center to ourselves. Yeah. Hang on, defenseless. They're taking a bait. Long range searches. Picking it up. Yo. Income transmission, Wallow. I don't understand you people. You captured my aerospace hangar and now you're what? Running away? Looks that way. Uh, word to the wise. Raven's security team will be coming along any second now. You don't want them leaving the hangar. Oh, is it? If if you don't want them leaving that hangar down around around leveling, tearing. I can read. I I I need better glasses. I really do. If you don't want them tearing that hanging down around you, I'd recommend moving your Griffin components out into the front yard. I'd also recommend you password protect your security cameras, because your security team doesn't have the faintest idea what it's doing. I appreciate the warning, miss. Call me Sam. And I noticed that you've got a nearly completed Achilles in there. I'm a thief, not a mo monster. I don't want to see that uh, marvel like that get destroyed. That's very kind of you, Sam. Hell is downright cordial. I'll try to keep this little exchange in mind the next time you meet. Because there will be a next time, Sam. And when it comes, I'll be the one holding the cards. Mission successful. Yep. This is the weird yeah, one. He will be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. Nope. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can 
Black Jack Pit, I've got a shiny nine and twenty. Shiny SRM too. No. <laughs> and they say you can. Yeah. Problem is I don't really use them, but I'll take it because it's shiny. And I like shiny things. <laughs> Squirrel! Squirrel! <laughs> you guys don't have squirrels in Australia, do you? I'm in the UK. I'm uh, England. You have squirrels. I have squirrels. We have squirrels. We, um, so our squirrel population is a bit of a peculiar thing because they kind of go out of, they go between endangered and pest. They they cycle Rapidly. between yeah fairly frequently so it's very it's a strange situation but yes we definitely have squirrels all right eagles landed boss we're in the showroom surrounded by a whole bunch of really pretty battle mechs real talk these beauties are po as polished as a bodybuilder's biceps i told you that grace spent uh, uh, if i told you that graves spent 10 hours a day rubbing baby oil on them i'd believe it bloody hell charming just calling it. Like okay, I see it, Doc. These babies are slick. Interesting variety of chassis, too. I can't wait to see what, the com uh, what components they're packing. I just wish there was some way we could take the entire collection home with us, you know? It feels almost negligent, considering such beautiful machines uh, to languish in moist, gle uh, glistening captivity. Now, uh, there's a phrase I never need to hear again. Look, Yang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Look, okay, Yang, can you get the mix running or not? I got it, XO. There are some fluids I need to pump and a few locks to disengage, but the battle mix themselves are in showroom condition. It shouldn't take long to get them going, is what I'm saying. I just need a decision about which form of mix to bring online. What are our options? Well, the way I see it, there are two options we can take here. We can swipe a lighter lance and try to slip away clean, or we can take a bunch of bruises and blast away out. There isn't much sense the in blast. taking a mixed lance, because at the end of the day, we're only going to be as fast as our slowest mech. Yeah. <sighs> I'm kind of up for the blasters, but I yeah, seem well... to remember... Oh man, I'm trying to remember. So... I think I took the lighter lance last time. Probably got away clean. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Because one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because I wanted to get a shiny medium-ish mech. Or oh, then you the need to go lance. for the heavier lance. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So, boss, do we take the hot rods or the monster trucks? Obviously, your average heavy mech is a lot more valuable than a light is. These particular light mechs are pretty rare. There's a Vindicator uh, variant in here, the Avenging Angel. Even I've never seen that before. We've seen that before. The Vindia! Big mechs have bigger guns. Yep, that they do. We're going to take the heavy lance. Yeah, we'll take it. If that. I remember right, you, you're going to be running with a uh, catapult. Which you want to just move ahead as fast as you can because he's going to be firing back yeah. and providing you fire support for everybody else who's much slower moving. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Slow moving the catapult. Bloody hell. All right. Uh, we'll I take. Don't think there's any assault max, but yeah. <laughs> uh, still. Yeah. We'll take the heavy lance. Go for it. On a boss, monsters it is. Tell me how to be ready. We're going to pick up as soon as we hit the LZ. The moment Graves realizes what we've done, the security team is going to be hot on our trail. And now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a lance of absolutely beautiful fighting machines to liberate. Commander, the lance is going to need your help to get them out of here, so I'll be in touch with you soon uh, via comlink. With any luck, we'll catch the rest of you shortly thereafter. Till then, take care of yourselves. You hang out. Okay, so. Boink. And we shall drop ourselves a hard save when it lets us. Come Is on. it going to let you? There we go. Takes a little while. I need to do a save cleanup anyway. Um, right. Yeah, Catapult, Thunderbolt, Dragon, and a Kintaro. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Dragon's your fast mover. Mm. 
<laughs> Have him provide security for the Kintaros at your missile boat. Yeah. I'll see what they all got loaded onto them. And technically, I'd I'd recommend a bounding Overwatch retrograde advance. <laughs> Yeah, leapfrog, um, covering fire. They've got us surrounded. We've the got them right where they want us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those poor bastards, they have us surrounded. Command interface initiated. First time that, I think that, well, I don't remember if they said that at the Battle of Bastogne <laughs> or the or Chosin Reservoir in, yeah. uh, in Korea. <laughs> yeah. But in both cases, it was applicable. Yes. <laughs> and at <laughs> and at Bastogne, they had a bunch of crazy ass airborne guys. <laughs> yeah. All right, Commander, we got problems down here. Gross security team is closing in on us, and we're going to have to fight our way out. Look them up. It's uh, another power military security team, Paladin Protection LLC. And oh, there's a name to it. Paladin Protection. Her. You know where that's from, do you? Don't no. you? No. No. Brimson Skies. Oh, okay. I never played that. <laughs> oh yeah, Paladin <laughs> Blake. Gotcha. Paladin, yeah. yeah. Paladin Blake was the leader <laughs> of and Paladin Protection, you know. <laughs> nice. Security, LLC. Alright, there's a name to inspire terror uh, in the mercenary heart. Give him hell, Commander. When the air is clear, we'll come pick you up. Yep. Right, sweet. Let's get it going. Okay, what are we loaded with? LRM 20 catapults, medium lasers, LRM 10 thunderbolts. AC-5, medium lasers, LRM-10, Dragon, by. and Kintaro. It's a 3 SRM-6 Kintaro. Interesting. Oh, um, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's It's like the original basic yeah. Kintaro 18. Yeah. What you can't see, because it's dark as balls, is the, uh, the very shiny paint job that all these things have. They are if I remember shiny. right, you gotta scoop past a slope and down into a little valley where the extraction point is. Yeah. So we may as well just swing this way, I think. Uh, Standing by. Yeah, swing to the right. You. That's your entrance to the valley right there. Yeah. Let's get in some cover. On the move. And the reality is, is you don't really have to fight these guys. You just need to get everybody the to the to the extraction point. You just gotta run! <laughs> Copy that. On the move. Thank you. There is a little note there. Your entire lance must survive. Yeah. Oh. I'm a moron. Not because of that. Um. Oh, I still have the Turbo Kintaras in storage. Shit. Oh well. I can pull one of them out for the last. Killing the security team is actually not absolutely essential. Yeah. <laughs> aye, aye. Peace is an option. <laughs> Move order received. On my way. Yeah, sure exactly, exactly hold up. Look we'll across the map and make sure of your route to your extrap. On so my far. way. Coordinates received. This is going pretty well. Acknowledged. Pieces of option. Pieces of salvage are also an option. Yep, yeah, that is true. That is true. Good to go. When you got a body of water in front of you, so if you decide to make a fight of it, that's where you want to do it because. Thunderbolts run hot. Yes. Right. Roger. They all run hot except yeah. for the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Are we? Hang on. No, we do need to fight them. It's a primary objective. <sighs> what? 
Whoops. I just wait for them. I'm not they'll sure. come to you. Oh, sure, they'll activate. Stay in the water. Water, see what they uh, see what they decide to do. Moving to position. Uh, dragon can hang out and cover. Uh, or ten years a Jamaican bobsled team doing uh, <laughs> cool runnings. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they are gonna Commander. activate unless I get closer to them. So what we'll do. I mean Jamaican bobsled team. And they go to Canada. Position. It's one of the coldest Canadian winters on record. <laughs> Move order received. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Move order received. You gotta admire them though. Oh. Great big brass big ones, you know. <laughs> Good to go. Right. This one. We got so, company. There we go. That'll activate them. And then you guys just go to Roger it. that. Digging in. And now to turn around and run back. Yes. <laughs> Orders. Aye, aye. And there. Go defensive. Get a ping. On a 30 tonner. It's a javelin. Okay. Oh. Got a Hermes! Painted up like a Gundam! <laughs> it's a Gundam! Minimal damage on that hit. <laughs> Ow. Hermes are actually kind of nasty. Hey! Watch Found the paint, them pal! Very fragile. Um, yeah. Yeah. Kintar well. Kintaros are Hermes. heavy on the armor for Barely a medium, but yeah. they're still only a medium. Yeah. Oh, hang on. That's a chameleon. Have you seen one of these before? Oh! Oh! Sure we have. Okay. A training mech. A training mech? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh... Now, the the thing with chameleon, it's got 10 heat sink standards only. Now, okay. look at the amount of energy That's... weapons. Yeah, he's gonna be toasty. Good stuff. We got to worry about the Hermes because he's got. You can't really toast and get him warm, but on the other hand. Oh, um, yeah. What's <laughs> that, We can expect you him can... to warm himself up. He, he will. He yeah. will. I think in that case. Defend the body of water yeah. from them. Now, he's got good armor, though. I think what we'll uh, do. Chameleon, I think, is carrying nine and a half. Nine and a half to ten and a half tons Shit, of armor. Yeah, it's very heavily armored. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put an LRM twenty into each of these. Roger. If you ever if you ever played President Hawk's Inception, um, they were the, the prize back for you you kill anything with. Nice. Once you got it reconfigured. Ready for orders. Yeah, nice. Do you want to move in? No. Okay, in that case. I think we'll hit this guy. Three bolts a monster, I guess. Affirmative. <laughs> I do like that boss quite a lot. They're good max, you can do a lot with them. Commander. Oh, everybody's in stock max, so. No, very fortunately. Remember what, you know, if it were Hobbs and it would be yeah. in trouble. <laughs> it would be monstrous. <laughs> Fair point. What is that thing carrying? What, the dragon? Or the um, chameleon? No, no, it's, you know, if it were a Hobbs mission, it's like, okay, what am I facing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's a cicada with oh, an ERPDC. Oh, no. Yeah. Cicada with an AC-10, yeah. or a cicada coil with cicadas. a... <laughs> or a or a coil cicada. Yeah, that was the, um, the mission Waiting where we fought only coil cicadas was terrifying. Um, oh, no. Uh, that, yeah. Every every time they hit, it, it was it left a mark. Yes, <laughs> big, a lot of times really they, big yeah, mark. Yeah, a lot of the times they hit, and they tore pieces off of you. <laughs> right, I think. Pretty good to hit, sir. Yeah. Look at Alpha him. Let's go defensive and 
make him firing all the time. Not bad, not bad. Scored a critical hit. I don't think you missed with any of the SRMs. Mm -hmm. He's seriously unstable. Yeah. Oh, we lost him. Damn it. No, quite like a, a comedian, not a comedian. Though, yeah. <laughs> no, it's happening. a comedian. <laughs> it's a comedian now. Uh, okay. Well, most people look at me and they say that's a battle neck. <laughs> right. I think we've only got one target, so let us make use of our weapon systems against that one target. Well, that's a hot jab one. Multi laser javelin. It is a toasty boy. Locking on target. Waiting for orders. Copy that. Let's hit him hard. Yeah, well, it's only a 30 tonner. Yeah. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna reserve. Oh, hello. Oh shit. Oh shit. Met called Comedian and his pilot's called Joker. Nah, Joker's the pilot of the Normandy. Hmm. Ah, uh, honey. Ready for a flamer and two medium lasers. Yeah. Not too worried about a single flamer. Mm. Yeah, you could punch him. Probably have a better chance of hitting them than shooting him. Yeah, I'm just concerned about what this guy's gonna do when he pops up again. Ah, uh, he's gonna unleash all of his uh, his flamers and his machine guns and small lasers on yeah. you. Is what he's gonna do. Yeah, I think we'll wait for them to do that. You know, I'd oh, pull cool. back. I'd pull back and put SRMs into that jab again. Oh look, the chameleon showed himself. Yeah. Oh, thank you for looking. Uh, I thought... They're running a little hot. You need to get in the water. Yeah. So right. Yeah. No, I think. Yes, commander. Can we pull you back? He's almost down a leg. you back into dangerous ground, that's not good. Um, I think uh, if we just sprint him out of there, oh no, then he can't ping anything. Shit. Can we get anyone else to get line of sight? That's they, probably they're not going to be able to take the Kentaro down in one salvo, even with all four of them firing. I'm doing this in the wrong order. We can activate everyone else what and then need? move the Kentaro out of harm's reach. Receiving you. Ah, uh, tunnel vision. Oh, and a potential straight line. With small lasers. Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, okay. Let me think. How much resolve we got? 63. Most LRM 20s for crying out loud. Yeah. Let's rip up the. Uh... So I was only using one on. Oh man, that didn't take his leg off. Damn it. So I was only using one because. Seriously, it's got one hit point left in the leg. Rude! Son of a bitch. Um, Waiting for orders. Yeah, uh, uh, for the uh, breaching shot uh, ability, which is awesome. Right. Got it. I want to. Copy that. Take him. There we go, he took the leg off nice. Oh, and the entire right side. Happy with that. Solid connection on that one. Sit down, you bastard. Oh, you're playing a bit of Stellaris. Cool. I Oh that's two that's two pilot hits. Yes. Yeah, good. We're tearing him up. Tearing Ready him apart. That's good. And that's quite possibly the Lance Commander too. It is the heaviest mech out there they've yeah. got. Uh, let's just try and core him, I guess. In fact, oh, missed. Damn it. Oh, okay. 
And ready to get it on. You need to not be there anymore. Run away. <laughs> uh, no, we need an angle so you're not getting butt poked. There we go. Leg it. it. <laughs> uh, inbound Paladin Protection Dropship. Looks like you're about to have more company. Yep. Ah. Okay, now we wait for them to come to us. It's about to get real serious. Yeah. And there's the homies again. And that's why we went defensive with the guitar. I might. What's up, boss? Yeah, we'll have you activate. We'll have you wander into the pond. Could shoot. Lousy to hit. Yeah, I think it's going to be better to ping him with the sensor locked. So everyone else can hit him Got a lock. more easily. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah. Orders? Let's pull you back a bit. Commander. Better options. Oh yeah, the Thunderbolt's got the intercept system. Yes. Yes. Yeah, give him the words. Copy that. Pew 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 pew. Yeah, drops an evasion. Drops an arm. Critical hit. Cool. It was a Hermes, and it's now Constantinople. <laughs> Why did the Hermes get the works? Ain't nobody's business but the Turks. <laughs> right. Aye, aye. Don't have the intercept system, which means this isn't great, but... He's right there, so... Fire everything. All weapons. Fire. Like it. Maybe hit him with some of everything. That would have been good. Standing by. Aye, aye, aye. Moving to position. Missiles! That's better. I took his leg off. Splat. Here they come. What is it with these assholes? Give me help by there. Bang up on you, Max. Oh, shit. Uh, uh... Right, you. No, we need your ability to ping, unfortunately. Sure, no problem. Hey, Standing by. You got it. We're gonna have to wait for them to come to us, sadly. Waiting for the right move. That's the sea. Taro into the water and then Alpha. Yeah. Oh, Panther. Bad. Yeah, that's a Locust, not so bad. Large laser panther. Large laser panther, okay. Jammer. Oh, that's not so bad. Locust, yeah. You won't have to deal with the PPC debuff. Yeah. Got something you want done? Because that sucks. Yes, it does. Especially <laughs> when you're facing light max. Yeah. Okay. Wheels from there. 7570s, wheels from there. 70s. Okay, get a bit further away because they are targeting you and you alert. Copy that. I need that one. Back it up, go defensive. Get rid of the Hermes before it stands up. There we go, you found so And you blow to pieces. Sweet. I hope we can salvage that. <laughs> yeah. There's the chameleon. But a focus on the first lance. Second lance isn't as important. Ah, secondary objective, yeah. Kill the first lance. Ooh, dear. That's not good. Yeah, you need to. Yes, Commander. Be getting into cover before anything else happens. Uh, okay, so first. You might be able to take down that. 
million. Yeah. Uh, Centurion. Ugh. Okay. Mm. Oh. Good to go. Yeah. I, I think the, the Centurion's the most dangerous target out there. Yeah. Let's try to look how we can get an angle where we're not getting swamped. Um. Do you actually have a line of sight on him? No. The T bolt take down that other fast. Yeah. There's three that group of yep. three together. The guy who's in the lead. I think it's our armies. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out where I can get lines on the um, Centurion. Move into position. Spitfire. Uh. Or just take what you can get. Yeah. Chuck. I'll chuck a couple of lasers at Locust. Also going at the Centurion. And alarms at the Comedian just for the hell of it. Actually hit the Locust. That's a good start. Miss the Centurion. Not so great follow up. Lovely, 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 lovely. And did some damage to the, the Comedian. Okay. Receiving you. Uh, Orders. You... Oh, with the leg down, he gets unstable real fast. Yeah. Excuse me. Think we'll put. That Hermes is a more important target than the Locust. Because he's first lance. Oh, the Hermes is dead. What's that light mech in front of the... Oh, that's like that uh, one. the Javelin. Yeah. It's the Javelin's, Javelin's part of his... the far, uh, first lance. Yeah, he's got to go. Yeah, he does. It's Let the Thunderbolt take him. I think it'll probably be... I may as well put a laser into the Locust just to reduce his uh, evasion for any other right, second. He's going to get weapons. it right back. Yeah. Right, multi target, multi target. Medium laser, MRMs, everything else. Yeah, give, a, give a, the missiles to the, to to the, the uh, jab. Yeah. Yep. I copy. Q. Locust. Bumpy, 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 bumpy. Mm. Damage the javelin. Okay. Oh, uh, chameleon with a large laser, that's something. Ready for order. Right, chest bolt is... The other leg here. It's a bit offensive because they're tearing you apart. Let's get you into cover. They just have to be intact when you extract. They don't have to be undamaged. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Still concerned. Oh, yeah. Um, and then... Today's a challenge. Trying to work out uh, what we can... Uh, I think if we focus the javelin and just nuke it with both the LRMs, we'll slow it down at least. Lucky you kill him out, right? Yeah. The target's taking a critical hit. But did blow a side toss off. Did that reduce his weaponry? Yes, it did. Very nice. Cool. Orders. Oh, and he's almost. Mm. You, you can see the German from the, uh, only with the LRM5, so yeah. Short range bugger, aren't you? I forgot. But he can't multi target. No, because he is the sensor bot. Uh, I think we'll reserve. Just waiting for the shot. Uh, yeah, wait for them to. That jab's gotta go. Yeah. Oh, and I just wandered off. It's fine by me. Panther didn't do anything. Interesting choice. Commander. Huh, the second lance is holding its fire. 
Let's be far on this page or something. Get too far away from that uh, extraction point, you. Yeah, I was moving towards it just so we can book it when we need to. Go defensive again. There's a chance we'll kill it with one, but I'd rather just. Bye. Bye. There we go, no more javelin. Tango down. Two more mechs to go. Well, one and a half. Oh, one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh reserve. Holding for tactical advantage. Oh. Ow. <laughs> okay, Centurion has moved into range of your Kitaro. Yes. What if a he can hit you with an LRM 10, you can hit him with SRMs. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can poke a hole in him first with the uh, dragon. Oh, I'd say that's a good Roger. Okay. Well, missed with the auto cannon again. I don't think he's landed a single shot with that auto cannon. Oh, possibly one. Standing by. Uh, let the Kentaro get him unstable so you get a chance, so he'll back off just a little bit. Yeah. Standing by. Hope that the second lance stays mostly backed off. Yeah. Ah, shit. No, he's not in range. Uh, now he is. I'll have to move a little further forward. Risky, because we can't go defensive, but we're going Locking to in the coordinate. Go for it. Here it comes. Receiving you. Uh, you can back up a step. Oh and yeah. Just shoot oh. the crap out of the and... Yeah. Take him, GB. Yeah. Okay. Locking in all weapons. <laughs> Entire right side destroyed. Very nice. Inflicted some heavy damage. That's his main gun. Splash. Let's go. Right. Panther. Oh dear. I think it's time for a save. I think. May as well take advantage of the initiative. Ready for orders. Defensive. Try and wipe the. Keep that Kintaro in the water. He's getting a little warm. Yeah, I'm just see if I can get a better line on the chameleon anywhere. No, we can't. Damn it. That means real vulnerable to your heavies. Yeah. On the move. And we'll just nuke it. Turn the lasers off. A little bit of heat management. Okay, too much heat management. What's your job? Uh, tactical advisor. Inflation, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I made a poor choice there. Yeah, you should have shot at the scent. Now, uh, the Centurion's initiative Waiting for is orders. allowing me to. Uh, do other things. Like, now I can nuke him with the Centurion. Uh, now I can nuke him with the Catfall. Do I want you yes. to get defensive? Uh, no, yeah, I he'll stay need His armor's thick enough, he'll have to take. He'll have to give him everything. Yeah, but that's okay. Roger. He's got everything to give him. Oh, nice. Target eliminated. Excellent. So. Back in the. Before computer games, they were tabletop board games, and they were these things called micro games. It's like I'm showing minor damage. And I'm going back. Yeah, yeah. It's a game called Rivets, and they were these, you know, service and house cleaning mechs mm -hmm. from uh, these automated factories, and that was they were still fighting the war, mm -hmm. and uh, there were these, these automated. 
self-propelled can openers and your battle cry was pop a top. <laughs> uh, love it. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to kill anyone else. On my way. Let's start a bit over here, I think. Um coming. Uh yeah, just end it. Go time. Hey, ammo explosion. Target. Pop. <laughs> Yep. All primary targets down. All right. Ah, I should have been in. Oh, thank Orders. God. Yeah. Okay, you can leave now. Leg it. <laughs> you really, really should. Yeah. Waiting for orders. Nice. If we're lucky, we might get out this turn. One's close enough. Possibly not the Thunderbolt. Possibly. If he runs. Why aren't they shooting at us? Waiting for orders. Nice. Yeah, we can get out of here. Never look a gift back in the belt. Ready in for the... orders. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, never interrupt your enemy when he's making a mistake. I believe it's uh, Sanzu. Not that. No, 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 that was. That was some. Um, it wasn't Sun Tzu that said that. Um, I'm gonna look it up. Huh. Fair enough. Uh, that's what I call a heist. Four beautiful mechs, and all for the bargain price of two short combat drops and a couple of pissed off rich guys. Honestly, boss, you should let me plan our deployments more often. Um, I want to hold off on that. Uh, that gloating Yang, we've got a problem. You remember that Achilles class dropship we saw in Wallace Hangar? Uh, the one that was up on blocks and nowhere near ready to launch? Yeah, well, you launched it. It's right on top of us. You better get in here, Commander. Uh, Wallace wants to talk. Mission successful. Let's have a word. Uh, that was Napoleon Bonaparte that said that. Oh. Never interrupt your enemy when he's making when he is making a mistake. Okay, I will keep that in mind. Thank you. And... Oh, nappy. <laughs> uh, I didn't get anything fancy. Just give me all the bits of the max. Uh, just give me give me everything. Give me all the things. <laughs> Uh, you'll still get to go home with one mech. Yeah, I'm not sure which one to pick. Though. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Yeah, we've got Centurion. Um, hmm. So if it's getting weight restricted, usually the weight restrictions are either 55 or 60 tons. I would. I don't like the Kitaro. I've We've got. Turbo. I'm not a Kentaro fan. No, but we got super lost tech Kentaros in storage, uh, which I completely forgot about. So uh, I yeah, you uh, don't need that. I'll break one of them out. Uh, so we don't need the Kentaro. I might take the dragon then. It's a fast moving melee mech. Yeah, you'll load that suck, drop the AC, and load it up with uh, with punch bot parts and. Yeah, All of a sudden, yeah. it's like, ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Possibilities, possibilities. All right. Hello again, Sam. Hello, Commander Gaming. I told you I'd pay you back for what you did to my hangar. You owe me, and I'm here to collect. I guess out of the sky would be a mistake. Well, I got uh, four of Graves' prize battle mix right here in our leopard. It'd be a real shame to wipe out so much top quality hardware, wouldn't it? You're right, it would, but you see, I've got another conundrum on my hands. Just think about it for a second. Put yourself in my shoes. I'm a man of status. That much is obvious. Just look at my ship. Yet, out of the blue, I get accosted by a pack of grubby little mercenaries who take out my security and leave me defenseless. Now, obviously, I can't let something like that slide. So, what's a heavily armed, proud, and angry man like me to do? 
Uh, in your shoes, I... Are tall and grubby? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you calling scruffy looking? <laughs> uh, in your shoes, I think it, I'd be most interested in getting my hands on Graves' mechs. At the end of the day, we're just a bunch of grubby mercenaries. He cares what happens to us. But Graves is a man of status, and annoying him is your bread and butter. Come on, Wallow, you don't want to kill us. We're cordial, remember? That has to count for something. <laughs> You got a few positive qualities, I'll admit. You put Graves, uh, you gave Graves a black eye, and uh, this put a smile on my face. Tell you what, I'm gonna let you go. I'll even let you keep one of Graves' brawlers, uh, but you're giving the other three to me to cover the repairs for my security team and compensation to their families. Don't bother haggling. This is the best offer you're gonna get. Right. Okay. So. Dragon. Yeah, I think it's gonna be the dragon. Keeping the dragon up, <laughs> oh, it's a soft spot for the Curiton design. Sure. Yeah, we'll go with the dragon. Excellent choice. The dragon is a hell of a machine. You go ahead and drop my merchandise in the field below, and then scurry off to that bloated whale of a dropship you've got uh, waiting in orbit. The Argo. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse you. The Argo is not a whale. Uh, sorry, that was implied to me. She's a lovely ship. See, I can be cordial too. No, in fact, too. she's not even a drop ship. She's yeah. a self-propelled support station. Yeah, yeah, definitely not. Well, I've always had an argument, uh, or in uh, my head at least, with what uh, Battletech classifies as a drop ship and why. Like, how it classifies a drop ship. And it classifies a drop ship as something that drops off of a jump ship. Not something that drops into an um, atmosphere. No, no, no. Dropships land on planets. Yeah, that's what they're supposed to do. Argo, the Argo does not land on planets. No, so it shouldn't be considered a dropship. But it is considered a dropship because in the Battletech universe, a dropship is a ship that drops off of a jump ship or other support ship. Yeah, and it's just it's about really the weird. only type of dropship other than civilian passenger carriers, mm. you know, liners, yeah. that's unarmed. Yeah, yeah, that was the other thing I was bummed out about because when this game was being kickstarted and stuff, I was thinking like, "Oh, cool, we're gonna get a, a, a Union class dropship. It's gonna be really, yeah, you know, really big, and we can I'd upgrade it and stuff. And it's got weapons on it, so we're not just gonna be kind of wandering around completely unarmed, but we're wandering around completely unarmed, which is a bit, yeah, not great, but." Uh, and yeah, Diago doesn't really make sense. We should have had either a Union or a Mule. I've not seen the Mule dropships. Well, it's a they're a civilian carrier, but mm. they're about as they're about as heavily armed as any Leopard. Okay. But they're not up to a Union's armament. Yeah. Typically, four turreted uh, four turreted mounts with multiple weapons, mm. and then one on the nose. Uh, gotcha. Much like a typical union, mm. but um, yeah, just not but, as heavily uh, armed, light not as much power. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. I mean, the Great Death wandered around for a long time with nothing but a union or but a, but a mule class mm. ship. Mm. That's cool. Righty, this concludes our business gaming. For uh, what it's worth, this has been the first genuinely interesting day I've had in some time. I suppose I've got you to thank for that. <laughs> uh, you can yes. thank, thank me. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, you can thank me, actually. The job was my idea. And uh, don't mention it. <laughs> so glad we could settle this matter amicably. And now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to instruct my people to retrieve my new max. Goodbye, Commander. Enjoy your new merchandise. And in future, do us both a favour and stay out of my way. Yep. There he goes. Well, we didn't get everything we wanted, but we're walking away with a shiny new dragon. That's better than our usual score. And yet, it's so much worse than it was supposed to be. Yep. Yeah, them's the brakes, I guess. I can't bring myself to feel all that sad about it. Got a new toy, and I can't wait to check it out. Uh, that counts as a win in my book. <laughs> it's, uh, this is a please, Yang. Yeah. 
Alright, we got the dragon, and we got a uh, melee stability down as well. Yeah, we've just got. Oh, got some goodies with it. Uh, we got a complete Locust 1S. Uh, a bit of a. Piece uh, of gender D. Yeah. Yeah, random crap, but that's fine. That mech you and we got the dragon! That mech you asked for. And another uh, two, skull, uh, two star LRM 10. Scrub the locust straight off. Let's get into the mech bay. Because I completely forgot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Gotta clear some room. There's that Centurion A. Yeah, I'll just scrub that. This is concerning. Uh, that's alright, we're at the end of the stream almost anyway, so yeah, we'll just scrub that straight out. Then into the storage. Now we need to find the mediums and we need to find the Kintaro Unks. Kintaro Unk, which one are you? Well, that's about my first seem like a periphery. Kintaro 19 it. with the letter, that one. Uh, yeah. Set next one down. It's... Uh, out the royal version of the original Kintaro uses an entire light engine and replaces heat six with doubles. Save weight allowed the LRM 15. Yeah, because I think still I'd, has three SR. I think still has three SRM racks. Uh, I'd use it to be an LRM, but I think this oh, yeah. is the one that I picked up from a battle by accident. Um, uh, you should probably dump it. And you've got another Kintaro 19. Oh, you've got two pieces of Kintaro 19. Yeah. Already the royal version. And we shall build that up for the um, for the light lance. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and you know, and it's got extra payload capacity, and it's got double heat sinks built in. So. Yes. Yeah, gorgeous machine. Gorgeous machine. Um. Yeah, for a, a very long time in the early game of High Eighties, uh, the um, the other Kentaro we were just looking at, I got by random salvage. I I stupidly um, didn't check it. Um, it just looked like, oh, it's Kentaro. Okay, I'll get two bits of it, and I picked something else as well when I could have got all, all three bits of it. I was really lucky in that. Our employer gave us the other bit of it, and it turned out to be, you know, the uh, this SLDF. Um, you got a whole lot of Kintaro parts. Yeah, we got lots of unks and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, uh, it turned out to be this, um, yeah, SLDF Kintaro with like twin LRM 15s and, or I think yeah. I don't know. It had a whole, a whole load of uh, capability that it shouldn't have had, and it was brilliant. Um, and that was my oh, yeah. that was my LRM boat for a very long time. So uh, so that was good. And right, what are we on? We are on forty-seven. Forty-seven. But unfortunately, I have run out of time for this stream. Yeah. So, it was fun. Uh, I'm very glad. I've had fun as well. I hope everyone watching has had fun, and I hope everyone watching in the future has had fun. I Did you boys have fun out there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, it's been great to have you all here. Um, yeah, we've done pretty well today. Uh, just moving on, getting around in pieces, doing uh, Yang's big score, uh, remembering that we've got ridiculous mechs in storage I, I, my memory is just non-existent um, it's concerning but there we go, here's what it is uh, so yeah, we are continuing to build up the light lance and yeah, we'll just find a job, keep flying the old uh, Firefly Serenity uh, theory or strategy get a crew, find a job keep flying Love that keeps her in the air. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you for joining me today, uh, Warlord Pete. Uh, I will. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to catch next time you're on, but uh, I'll be around. That's all right. Uh, it's been uh, great to have you around, and great to have you back. And yeah, whenever you're about is good. And yeah, don't don't sweat if uh, you send me a uh, send me a friend request on Discord. And uh... did I not? I oh, apologize. Um... You can PM me that way. I did not send you a friend request. How rude of me. I do apologize. Okay, that should have fired off now. But yeah, I'll uh, drop you a message when I'm planning on streaming some Battletech, see if you're about. Oh, you don't have to bother with that. I get the notices off your uh, off your server. Alrighty. Good stuff. Because, uh, yeah, some of those messages have not gone in a decent time, but then I guess that's Discord and Twitch, and it's all it's all broken. I try. <laughs> I just kind of it's yeah. I regularly <laughs> post yeah. updates on uh, on on Hobbs uh, Hades Rim yes. server anyway. So yes. So yeah, I just kind of shout from the rooftops that I'm going live. <laughs> and sometimes people turn up, and that's really great. <laughs> but yeah, um, so what's happening this evening at 1800 GMT? Uh, so a little under four hours away, I shall be playing some Starfield. Uh, continuing on uh, with that, we're still we're doing all the things, we're doing all the odd jobs, we're doing all the side quests, and uh, uh, I'm enjoying it. I. We might have to do something a bit more main questy at some point because I'm starting to feel a bit. Uh, it's strange. I'm enjoying the main quest and we do, uh, like the side quests and we're doing a lot of side quests, but I don't feel like we're doing all that much, which is probably I don't know. May, may, maybe I'm just broken. But there we go. Anyway, we'll continue doing stuff. We might touch on some of the main quest stuff uh, and yeah hopefully see you there oh, thank you for being here Hi Leper, and thank you everyone else for being here I appreciate all of you it's been uh, really great so yeah hopefully see you next time until then you've been watching ah, gaming my name is Bill I'm the angry autistic asshole say goodbye Pete goodbye Pete there we go like comment subscribe run around screaming ah, turn notifications on otherwise I'm just screaming at Pete in the dark and uh, we got to get him back up to speed because he's been out of the game for a while so everyone get in here get screaming uh, much more fun much more much better uh, good stuff so uh, I have a patreon and PayPal if you wish to donate to this mess that'd be appreciated and I have a discord server and Facebook page where I announce what I'm going to be streaming and when so be sure to keep an eye on them and let's see if we can find someone to raid. Who's about? Who's playing what? And they call me Dead Eye Pete. And my <laughs> mech is mighty sweet. And her guns go boom, chaka boom, boom, chaka boom, boom, boom. I <laughs> uh, love it. Uh, right. Who's playing what? Is anyone actually playing? All right. Yeah, good night, sir. And good morning. <laughs> and be all around. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being here. See you around, Pete. Bye bye. Is anyone live? Uh, I'm live apparently. Let's do. Let's. Who should we raid? How about we raid? Uh, you want us to raid? Blah blah blah. We can raid. Blah 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 blah. Let's raid. Blah blah blah. Oh, he's on. Be right back. That's okay. We'll do that. We will raid. Blah Okay. Raid in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Alrighty, bye bye.